Aditya Sharma, can we have a picture with you as well? Good evening and welcome to the last post show conference for the Lakme Fashion Week Winter Festive Day 1. And we have with us here a designer, his muse, and Mr. Heyman Sharma, sector head polyesters from Reliance Industries Limited. So we'd like to begin with asking you about our land's uh, association with Lakme Fashion Week and um, this collection and what brought this together. Good evening. So, uh, as you've seen, our Reliance initiative is, um, is uh, from Reliance uh, Group. Um, and this is a commitment to, uh, I would say, include uh, aspirations for the consumer. Uh, this is based on improved comfort, based on improved feel, uh, based on improved comfort. And the and also the sustainability. So this is uh, Ireland is made on very specially engineered uh, production processes, and uh, this is backed up with a lot of technology support and um, and a lot of innovation is involved in this and a lot of creativity is involved in this. So what we have seen today, first of all, I thank you very much for and Lisa, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, basically, basic, yeah, basically what we have seen, um, two type of uh, Ireland products here. here free flow Ireland, uh, which is uh, improved drape uh, feel. Uh, this is a product for the, for the women here, both for the ethnic and both for the, uh, and also for the uh, western beer. And uh, while we produce this material to give this improved drape and the feel, uh, no trees are cut. No, no silk worms are harmed. So this is a bit of contribution from our side to the nature. The second close to one crore bottles of uh, the post-consumer PET bottles back into the production processes to make Ireland sustainable green product. Uh, this is a specially engineered product again. Uh, this is what we do here. And uh, the production process that we have for, for Ireland sustainability is based on one of the lowest carbon footprint in the world. Uh, we go much beyond. We also go to the consumers and uh, also we do a lot of initiative. We take a lot of initiative to, to undertake uh, the consumer uh, support in terms of uh, like putting in, installing in a lot of recycling machines, as you must have seen, where you put in the PET bottles, the flakes are done and all that. So this is a special initiative that we have taken to create uh, wealth from waste. So this is also protecting uh, environment because there is no littering found uh, anywhere after, uh, if we do more and more recycling, less and less littering will be seen. So this is a bit of contribution from our side on environment. So we are doing everything to improve uh, uh, customer offerings and at the same time taking care of the nature and environment. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And it is wonderful to see that your initiatives have been brought to life by Amit here. Amit, if you can talk to us a little bit about your collection, um, your muse, and what it was like showcasing at Lakme Fashion Week as they celebrate 20 years. Uh, firstly, congratulations to the entire family. I think 20 years is a stupendous journey. Um, I think uh, when Arilan uh, proposed the entire idea of this collaboration, what really excited me was uh, the fact that we are actually proposing fashion with a conscious heart, a purpose, and I thought that let's push the boundaries of creativity because we are talking about what the future holds for design and fashion. Um, on close account, when I actually met with the Aralan team, what really enthused me and excited me was the fact that besides the fact that the fabric is extremely fluid, luxurious and uh, makes, uh, I mean, it's, it's not a challenge to make her look stunning, but makes uh, all of us looks, uh, look, I think the fabric was fluid. Uh, it also had a heart, a real heart, because it was made out of recycled materials. And I think that journey started then and I thought it was important to actually launch uh, a new luxury pret line, which we've actually never really showcased on the runway. Uh, still projecting what the future of fashion should be, and um, 
you are still having a heart. So I think that that was exactly the core point where we started this collection called Flux. And I'm really grateful to Arilan and the entire uh, team at Reliance who believed in the vision. And um, obviously when I thought of who should be the ideal muse, um, I couldn't go beyond Lisa because I think that um, this is not something to flatter you, but I've been a great fan of Lisa and I, she's no, not stopped. We've yeah, we've discussed it enough and I think that, uh, yeah, I haven't, um, I thought that she really epitomizes grace. Uh, she's uh, very fluid herself, as you can see. She's mm -hmm. like, I think she's tall, sexy, independent, and I think that's exactly the product and, uh, and the fabric of the future. So I thought it was a good blend. Wonderful. And Lisa, now that he said so much about you, how about... <laughs> well, it's a mutual <laughs> admiration table? society. I've been admiring Amit's work for a very long time. Um, and I was actually convinced I'd been in one of his fashion shows earlier because I've, I'm so familiar with what you make and such a big fan of it. Uh, but apparently he said I hadn't. I don't think you remember me. <laughs> I don't think you remember me from before. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I really admire what you do, and especially this collection, the way that he's mixed the uh, recycled plastic polymer with the free flow. I think it's a great play of contrasts and structures. And um, yeah, I mean, I was just admiring each and every girl as they walked out onto the runway thinking, oh my gosh, I want to wear that. Oh my gosh, I want to wear that. Oh my gosh, I want to wear that. Um, and that's always a great reaction to have and the sign of an excellent collection. Um, so congratulations and thank you for having me. <laughs> it's my pleasure to be here. Wonderful. I'm going to open the floor for questions if anyone has any, or if not, we'll break in for individual interviews. Uh, so, uh, Lisa's entire outfit is made out of Arilan uh, textile. Of course, we've mixed the brand signature polymer strips to structure the palla and uh, the bodice, but uh, all the entire textile is actually a free flow Arilan completely beautifully ombre dyed with, uh, you know, very conscious methods. And I think uh, it's fluid and structured at the same time. That's exactly what we wanted to portray. Amit, if you can tell us more about the color palette. The color palette was, as you saw, was super eclectic. It started from the serene um, quality of ivory, the serene quality of ivory, moving it uh, into like unusual, very unusual jewel tones. It was really high on shine. There was an accent of holographic. And I think what I really, um, I mean, I, I, it was a pleasure because uh, the fabrics had such a large plethora of different colorations. And I think the library that was extended to my usage was, was really so exhaustive that it never really stopped inspiring me to keep creating it. Actually, I could have done, gone on and made a hundred more looks with the amazing fabrics that I got to use. Um, I think Keep It Classic really is, and that was actually a line that Amit used many times when we were draping the sari. Um, and yeah, I think... Whatever you're comfortable and used to wearing when you're younger, I usually find sort of stays with you throughout your life. Sorry, that's a terrible thing to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Keep It Simple. <coughs> I like it a little bit boho, a little bit free flowing, comfortable, but still very chic. What's your style mantra? <laughs> <laughs> Conscious fashion. <laughs> thank you. So Perfect. Lisa, uh, thank you. Uh, so, Lisa, you were uh, having the most minimal makeup, yet the beauty look is there. So, what kind of makeup do you prefer usually? Honestly, the look that I have on today is one of my favorites, and um, I think the sort of dewy look was a signature, you know, sort of little thing from the show that we kept, but otherwise I always like it to look, it really depends, you have to wear so many different styles of makeup when you're in this business, but I always like to keep it quite classic and beautiful, something that accentuates your features, you wear the makeup, it doesn't work. So there is no uh, jewelry adorned uh, with the outfit. Usually, Amita Garwal usually have that futuristic jewelry kind of thing. So what is the idea of uh, all behind that? Well, the jewels were in the outfit. I didn't need jewels. Uh, so. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great choice also not to have jewelry because 
you know, the recycled polymer and the way that he drapes it is almost like wearing, you know, a, jewelry, a piece of jewelry in itself that, I mean, we don't need much else. I think on that note, we're going to call it an evening.